That cow, that cow ain't nobody did nothing no matter. That cow was trying to get to point A to point B and y'all done set up there and ran over that cat like that. Previously with Peyton. Figured I hit and quit it just one night. Got so good to me, double back twice. I'm telling you, I'm your baby, I'm your shooter, I'm your spot removal. I'm 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 your cleanup woman. Yeah. But yeah, this the look. We giving body for 133 pounds. Sad. I, you gotta understand, I got two fish. I got two fish. One logical and one is out of her damn mind. Every time I wear this wig, I feel like uh, I look like my mama. Like, have y'all seen my mama? I look so much like my mama. Oh, uh, you're into it. You tell me you got 18 kids. 18. Be sure to get all caught up on the vlogs and let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on. <sighs> so we are a therapy household now, y'all. And I want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I have realized that one thing that I hate doing to my friends, to my partner, companion, whatever, I hate oversharing. I feel so bad when I overshare and I hate trauma dumping on my friends. There are times in life, not all the time, but there are times that I am going through things. And whilst I don't post them, I don't share it because not everything is content and I'm content with not sharing every detail of my life just because I share what I share and I'm thinking that the people who watch me, they can either relate or not relate, but in a sense where um, you can empathize what I'm going through. Even if it's something that you've never been through, you can still empathize. And I realize a lot of people lack empathy. So with that being said, I have decided to start back therapy again instead of sharing everything online just because I don't feel like this is a safe space. And I finally have been matched what I feel because I'm trying this again um, with a therapist that I feel like is going to benefit me and my daughter and having someone to talk to and really just release. I do feel like releasing is going to be beneficial for me because when I have shared certain details about my life with partners or friends, I am so regretful afterwards. It's like, ah, I didn't want them to know that about me. You know what I'm saying? And the next day I'm, I'm texting them like, you know what? I am so sorry for, you know, dumping that on you. I feel like I overshared and I apologize. And they're very empathetic. They're, no, you can tell me anything, but I just feel like it, there's it's, it's certain spaces for oversharing and therapy is that space. BetterHelp strives to make therapy more affordable and accessible. And believe me, finding the right therapist in your vicinity can be hard. BetterHelp simplifies this, offering an online platform where after answering a few questions, you can be matched with a professional therapist in just days. For me, I'm no exception. As a creator, my life might seem all sorted out. I mean, you're looking at an hour-long video with music and the aesthetics and views and all of that stuff. But just like you, I have days when the world feels overwhelming, when I need someone to talk to, someone who listens without judgment. That's key. That is key because, whoo, baby, everybody loves to judge. That's not your job. That's God's. So I've decided to turn to therapy myself. And if it's something that's interfering with your happiness or hindering your goals, the right therapist can make a huge difference in your life. But if it's your first time, it can be a challenge to know where to begin. My suggestion is give it a try. And all you have to do is click the link in my description box or you can go to betterhelp.com backslash Peyton Charles. Not only does this link support our channel, but it also gives you a 10% discount on your first month with BetterHelp. So after you answer a few questions, be sure to make sure that you click YouTube 
and how you found out about BetterHelp and go to my name in the drop down menu. And thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I volume, I volume, I volume. driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long black road all the tears I fight. Sixteen Thank you. Who's been eating out of my phone? Mmm, whatever that is, is real sticky. We're gonna need them to clean it out real good. We need to go get this car wash, cuz. Damn, not this stuck to a piece of gum on it. Do you care about your shit? Oh, we gotta inflate our tire, too. What is up, you cool kittens and cats? Welcome back to another weekly vlog. How's your mama doing? How's your daddy doing? Is your daddy still with your mama? I had asked Bernadine, aka Kyron, did she wanna um come out with me today? But she was like, no. I feel like I have to drag her out the house, child. Let's go. Let's just go, honey. Let's just get cute and go, girl. But thank y'all so much for um the prayers and well wishes. She's doing good. She's fine. I am actually headed up to Porsche to get this car washed because y'all like it. Can you see it? Can you see it on the roof? On the roof? It's so much damn bird shit on this car, it don't make no damn sense. It might take them longer to wash it just because bird shit hard to get out. Mm, what birds be eating, baby? But bird shit so hard to get out of uh paint and off of off of glass. I'm gonna drop the car off and run and keep just going on about my life so i'm gonna drop the car uber over to restore hyper wellness and get an iv because i've been feeling nauseous feel like my b12 low i'm dropped down in weight i ain't really been eating like that when i went to aspen we weren't really eating like that and then um came home wasn't really eating like that because i had a concussion I mean, I be eating, but I don't be eating like that. Because you see me cooking. But I don't be eating like I used to. Like I, When when I first started vlogging, baby, I was eating. I don't be eating like that no more. And I need to get back to it. I need to get back to that whole little routine that I was on to maintain and gain weight. But I also feel like it wasn't the healthiest. Because... I was drinking so much insure, baby. My Pikachu started going on. I said, uh-oh. Not, not as giving diabetic. But my Pikachu started going on. And I would have like really high blood pressure. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they give insure to people um, in the hospital when they see. Because uh, insure don't give me it's that healthy. It has a lot of damn sugar in it. I can say that. And so I was... I was consuming a lot of sugar drinking them damn insures damn, this shit ain't healthy to me but they do help you gain weight though but yeah on the to-do list today drop the porch y'all go get an IV so you can help my nausea because I've been feeling very nauseous nauseous and fatigued so go get an IV get adjusted and I want to get my nails and my toes done I'm gonna go back to the house and see if Miss Karen wants to come. I don't know though. She's been wearing a bunny ever since she got her hair done. She ain't really took the bunny off, so I'm not really sure if she's happy with her decision. Me, I was just doing damage control because her cut was not her cut was not a good cut. But I don't know, it's not giving she was happy she's happy with her decision because she been she done had a bunny on the entire time. But I like her cut she her cut inspiring, make me wanna cut my hair. It's cute as hell, but I don't wanna have to do my hair every day. Cause I feel like I'm gonna have to do my hair every day and I'm gonna have to start relaxing my hair again. Mm-mm. 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 
Oh, and we also got a huge Meniere Duvoir haul. I just got my packaging. It came so damn fast. I ain't never got my, I ain't never ordered from Manier Duvoir and it came that damn fast. It came so fast, y'all. So, I'm going to show y'all what I got because I did some damage, baby. I spent $1,000 on Manier Duvoir on that damn 70% off sale. But I also bought a couple of things that were regular priced and not a part of the 70% off sale. But I got a lot of stuff, like three bags full. And my coffee table came in, so we're going to put that together. I still need to put together my electric bike and start indulging in cycling and utilizing my electric bike. So, because mm -hmm. we got to get it together. The birthday is right around the corner, honey, and we got to be 145. That is the goal. That is the goal to be 145 on my birthday, baby. I'm trying to step out. I'm trying to step out and on next for the 41. I'm turning 41. Lord, I'm turning 41, child. <sighs> I'm turning 41 on a mother ass. So, yeah, we got to get back to it. I'm 135 now, so I only have to gain 10 pounds. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, baby, ain't nobody in the service line today, honey. Come on, VIP. Hi. How can I help you today? Can I get a car wash? Uh, what time is it? I don't got my phone. Ooh, we cut off at three, man. Yeah. When? When y'all start doing it? Oh, we, we we always done it, man. Y'all can't fit me. Y'all can't squeeze me in. Uh, As if I came at two fifty nine. <laughs> no, uh, cause after after three, we only focus on our on our uh, service cars. Okay. I gotta get this damn bird shit off my car, but I cannot take it to just any freaking car wash. <sighs> damn. Ain't nobody fault but mine. I lollygagged all day rewatching the last episode, the last aired episode of Love is Blind, because I'm trying to understand what the hell is about to go on this season, baby. This season look like it's about to be deep and dangerous. I ain't even gonna lie. There's a lot of people looking like they done chose the wrong people this time. I said, okay, Jackie and Cousin Skeetle. It's gonna be one of them situations. I thought they said liquor stores only be in the bad neighborhoods. Don't look like it to me. Uh-oh, wait a minute now, Porsche. You better stop, shit. This motherfucker be acting like you don't want to stop. Oh, shit, I meant to get my tires in play. Oh, well, they said the sir. They said the service, uh, let me turn around and see if he can inflate my tire. Now, if he tell me that they can't do it on, they can't do that either, then I'm going to have to go inside and talk to my, uh, SA, because first of all, I'm VIP. That 2.5 got to go up. They getting five stars from me. Ain't a bird doodle -doo left in sight okay they getting five stars from me i got a wax now I don't, I'm, I'm gonna be i'm gonna be real with you i'm gonna let the steel hit you i don't think that Porsche would have did this type of job free free now i don't know they might have shit they might would they might have wanted to charge me though. They probably would have tried to charge me if I had awaited. But money well spent. They definitely deserve five stars. I'm definitely gonna go on Yelp and help increase that score. Cause they they definitely did the the job. And they and it was a hand wash. Like I trust them to hand wash my car. Cause I am very, very happy. So go to vintage car wash, you guys. If you don't go to the dealership, I highly recommend washing your car at the dealership. It's free. But if you're in a bind, park under a bird tree, get a lot of, you know, what did they call it? Bird? Dirty bird? If you get a lot of dirty bird on your car, go to Vintage Car Wash. Totally worth it. $150 well fucking spent.
They even clean my console. And you know how sometimes when you leave a, a, a cup in a car, which I shouldn't do, but you know, sometimes the cup cup will leak out and then it'll get sticky in your cup holder. They can't clean out my cup holder. I'm very impressed. Hey, but real tall though, they were trying to charge a motherfucker 60 extra motherfucking dollars to clean out the goddamn cup holder. I said, hold on, bitch. Ain't this how... <laughs> Ain't this how plies be talking, man? They were trying to clean, they were trying to charge a motherfucker 60 extra got motherfucking dollars. But they gave me a little, they gave me a little discounted data for free. Cause I was like, For real? Now, I ain't cheap. Y'all knew. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm very fucking frugal. Let me stop lying. But when it comes to taking care of my things that, you know what I'm saying, needs to be taken care of, I'm not cheap. I mean, because I could have I could have easily took my car to get it washed at Porsche for free in the morning. I ain't cheap, but $60 to clean out my day. There is no Apple holder. Music account available. Please check your user account. I was about to say why she even wake up, but I realized I said her name. Bro, look at all these goddamn birds. Look at all these motherfucking birds. To drink. Uh -huh. I want uh, cranberry juice. Cranberry juice? Okay. What kind of you want? Oh, you got cucumber? Yeah. Uh, what cucumber? Like a what a cucumber? What? Like a Mm, like a cucumber mocktail. A uh, cucumber martini, right? Mocktail. Mocktail. Cucumber mm. mocktail. Yeah, no, no uh, alcohol. Okay, let me tell. Okay. Okay. And, and then um, bar, flaming volcano. Volcano. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I asked for like this brown marble, but it's giving Cheetah Girls. I'm getting thick and tired of you, broken promises, promises. You will or you won't, won't. You do or you don't, don't. No more. No more. Baby, I'm a do right. That was one of y'all songs, wasn't it? I know. You were in 3LW. You was a Cheetah Girl. Wait, is it 3LW? Nah, 3LW. Nah, I'm thinking of 702. Yeah, you was in 3LW. Anyway, this is giving Cheetah Girls, so. Hmm. Might not be on too much longer. Plus, these are short. I asked for a cut down, not a damn. Child, she cut me down almost to my real nail. Look at my real nails. One more fill in and I ain't even gonna need these anymore. But... At least we're not basic. And my toes look... <laughs> girl. Girl, these toes look edible, girl. Oh, girl. And they saw... Hold on. Let me make sure she she really she really went, went ham on my heel. Oh, baby, these heels. Oh, baby, these heels ain't rough, honey. Because, you know, she be walking around barefoot on these hardwood floors, honey. They have it. Listen, if you got hardwood floors, do not walk barefoot on your hardwood floors. It does a number on your heels, okay? And you ain't got, we ain't got time for that because, you know, <laughs> it is springtime, okay? And you know what happened during spring. Baby, we spring out them sundresses and niggas <sighs> swallow us up. They sop us up like a biscuit. Walking around them, them sundresses, that booty be doing it. Yeah, I know how that be a booty be with you and them
want this damn thing come out. I like it. The little white, the the, the bitter part. I don't know. It kind of gives kitty kitty table, but I like it. It matches it matches the the rug and the 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 color scheme very very well, especially with the the brown tabletop, the brown glass tabletop. It matches the accent pillows. I like it. And what I did was how I made because the couch is a sectional and it's supposed to be one whole long couch right but you can finesse it by taking the ottoman that i once used as a coffee table with the glass tabletop you can connect the ottoman to one side and i just cover the gap with a blanket so it looks like i have two identical couches but one is more like a shed and the other one is um a full couch so I've been wanting to do this look for a while but like I said 
this space isn't big enough for two of those long couches so when i get my next house because i'm still gonna use this decor i'm gonna get an, another couch so it'll be two long couches so i have like a huge sitting area in my living room and i'll just i'll just get this one like professional clean or use my hoover and clean it myself because it is very very easy um but yep i gotta show y'all what i got from mania dubois because i did a huge haul with mania dubois i bought like try i ordered like a thousand dollars worth of stuff because they had such a good sale um so not everything i bought on sale some things i bought regular price and then some things was like 25 percent off and 50 percent off but it was a really really good sale this is the this is the biggest um haul that i've done like three bags full and i got some stuff from makeup unity and i also got some stuff from a paypal she sent me some i want to say she sent me some candles and i definitely want to light some candles and get some some different scents going through the house so i gotta show y'all that i'm probably gonna open it now but Chat, after I do stuff like this, I have to take a little break and rest. So I'm gonna like lay down for like 30 minutes and just take, take me a rest. Girl, I be have to take my breaks, honey. When I'm when I turn into Brenda the Builder, Brenda the Builder need breaks. So don't feel bad to take y'all a little breaks. Take y'all a little midday nap, a little break. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with taking a break. Do y'all like my nails? I don't know. It's giving press on. I probably had these for like a week, I don't know. Um, my previous boyfriend left me in a state where I just felt like, oh, okay, you know what? I need to just focus on me, tap into mm -hmm. some self-love, heal. But now that I felt like, okay, I am ready, right? Um, yeah. I got myself together. I, you know, I, I did a lot of self-love focused on me. I got my finances in order. So I felt like where I was emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and financially that I was ready because not only like, I feel like what I bring to the table, it would, you know, stop any insecurities of me meeting a man that was equally yoked with me. Right. Like, you know, sometimes you meet a man that makes a lot of money and you don't. It can be kind of intimidating. So mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that, you know, what I brought to the table was was sufficient and I'm meeting someone equally yoked with me. Because I have trust issues and I dealt with what I dealt with in my past relationship. You know, I went through his phone. It's like so many women in his phone and sex tapes and all this type of stuff and he's still texting other women and dming other women my trust is fucked up so at this point i feel like i am fucked up because i should have never went through his phone but i i did and so all of those images stick with me you know it's, it's one of them too good to be true situations like it's so good that it feels like it's too good to be true um it's almost like i'm anticipating something to happen because I haven't healed from my previous relationship. So yesterday on the phone call, this is what really promoted me to go ahead and sign back up to, for better help and, and, and get some help. And I'm so glad that I got matched with you. I'm, I'm so glad. Like I could already tell from just, you know, your name that <laughs> man, you was going to click like this. So yesterday I'm talking to him and I just break down and I started crying and I was like, I'm just not ready. Y'all, right right it's 85 degrees outside today. Am I going to have a real spring birthday? Y'all know Pisces season is Pisces season and my birthday is right around the corner. I am so excited. I am actually going to have a dinner this year. Oh my God. It's literally right around the corner. I need to go ahead and start planning this and inviting people. Yeah, I'm having a dinner this year. Um, I'm excited. And I had a birthday dinner in so doggone long. I can't even remember the last time I had a, had a birthday dinner. I think I was in my 20s the last time I had a birthday dinner. But I am getting ready to go and get Courtney and pick up Courtney and take her to lunch. She has not been feeling her best and I want to cheer her up so 
I called her and I was like, get dressed, put some clothes on, I'm taking you to lunch. You know, real boss like, because I'm bossy and I'm flossy. Yeah. So I'm on my way. She stayed an hour away. I, it's saying an hour away. I'm like, did you move? Because I could have sworn you stayed like 35, 40 minutes away. See? So I think it's traffic too. Because it's like 425. Baby, I ain't. Mm, yeah. Ma'am, stay far as hell. But I'm going to go pick up a friend and take her to lunch. And then after that, I want to stop by the mall and um do a little shop shop i just went and got a silk press and um an adjustment i didn't take y'all with me because i feel like i do that in almost every video and i don't want it to be a wash and repeat because i know that some people do complain about that so i was like you know what i'm just i'm gonna leave out the silk press footage for now i am gonna go and get some clip-ins because i want to do the curtain bang look again i haven't done it in so long uh i think it's been a year yeah i think it's been a year since i did the curtain bang look but my bangs have grown out and i feel like they're long enough for it and i just wanted like a little bit more volume and curls with my own natural hair because honestly y'all i like i like doing like switching up and wearing wigs um but man, when you take a wig off, baby, your scalp be so stinky. I don't like it. I don't like that. I don't like how your scalp be smelling like feet. I don't like it. So I'm going to try to, you know, wear the silk press and put some clip-ins in and, you know, do that for this week instead of putting a wig on. Plus, have my, has my head got big or something? Because, baby, that ginger wig don't fit. It don't fit. It's so little. Like it, it be a whole about this much of my actual hair, and where you can see the stocking cap, it be that much sticking out. I'm like, damn! Did the concussion make my skull swell a little bit? <laughs> Uncle Julio's first time. We're in Allen, Texas. It's my, my first time um, in here, but they it, it looked like they got good stuff on the menu. So I'm thinking about the taco salad. Get you something to eat, friend. You gotta eat. Trust me, I know. I be doing the same shit. I don't eat. You gotta eat. Just seen a dead cat in the road. Now I thought cats had nine lives. That's not supporting the studies. That cat, that cat ain't never did nothing to nobody. That cat was trying to get to point A to point B and y'all done set up there and ran over that cat like that. Good morning. Y'all, I forgot to tell y'all the other day when I went and got my, um, cause I got a document this so I know her name for next time. Lily Ann did my toes. And every time I go to Onyx, I always get the pedicure that comes with the head and shoulder massage. Baby, what do them Asian women be doing in their off time? Cause they are so strong. I said, Ooh, hold on, Miss Daisy Lee, Lily Ann. Like, ugh. baby, she, when I tell you, she was so strong. That lady was strong. I said, I want to am I this strong? I want to do I have this type of, you know what I'm saying, motion when I'm giving massages. Because, shit, when I be massaging people, my hands be popping and hurting. And I be thinking to myself, I want to do those Asian women hands be popping and hurting when they be massaging. Because, I'm talking about anywhere I go, whether it's been here in the States or in another country, every time an Asian woman massages me, 
they are strong like extremely strong hold on i can hear you can you hear me huh can you hear me yeah hey look so you you when you put my my picture picture on your thing yesterday you got a lot of followers shit hell i woke up to 30 people <laughs> Did it scare you a little bit, Auntie? person that finds the way clay blinks his eyes a little weird like it's it gives dishonest i don't know it's something away about let me google it uh, i'm gonna find it oh it's on the charger shit okay anyway whatever we'll google it later but it's it's, it's, it's something about them eyes blinking you can tell a lot from a person the way they they move their eyes. I think it's like if they look to the left while they're talking and you ask them a question, they're lying. And then something with the blinking of the eyes too. Like y'all know I got forensic, <laughs> I got forensic investigative skills, baby. I listen. <sighs> that made my flesh crawl. But I have a package from Set the Moments. <sighs> Ooh, to make my teeth hurt. <clears throat> baby, I need to give me a new box cutter. Once again, my box held us. <sighs> have gotten up and walked away from my house. Truth be told, I probably opened a box and put the box cutter in the box and end up throwing the box away with the box cutter in it. That's probably what happened nine times out of ten. Oh, shit, it's a box in a box. I gotta do it again. Okay, ma'am, really made sure that whatever she sent me did not break and i can appreciate it it says hi peyton my girl i just love everything about you keep being your authentic self love and for beautiful paypal tell them to check out www.setthemoment.com use code paypal 10 ps i hope you love them Girl, you know I love me some candles, so you know I'm gonna love them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so this one is the first one. It's called Black Rose. And damn, that smell good. It's grapefruit, black rose, vanilla, and patchouli. Handmade. The next one is Tequila Sunrise. This is sweet and fruity. Cocktail, grenadine, and lime zest. Next one has some flowers on the side. It's called Mind Games. This is pink pepper, driftwood, amber, salt, and tonka bean. Mmm. I definitely smell the tonka bean in this one. Mind Games. I like that one too. I think these might be. Okay, wait. So this one is. Okay, so this one is. Says, hi Kyron, I made this special for you. I hope you like it. Keep being sweet and special. Love Ann. So she made one for Kyron. She made a candle specifically for Kyron. And her to light up in her room. Y'all are so sweet. I thank y'all so much. It really be times when I be wanna, you know, I see stuff said about, you know, me and my daughter online, and I really be wanna, you know. Go on and take that number 10 spot on the list, baby. I really do. But then I remember that I have so many wonderful, positive PayPal's that I should give all my energy to in with these flip-flopping assholes. This is so pretty. Oh, my God. Oh, this is so pretty. It doesn't really have a scent, but it's a pretty pink rosy teddy bear candle that's so pretty Karen. 
by the way while we are talking about candles that ooh for greatness candle that i bought myself for christmas i want to say i got it for christmas yeah i got it for christmas actually you know what i didn't buy it it was a gift from the scent room now i don't know if maybe i possibly got a bad batch and a bad candle but i thought that my whole house would be smelling like i just dashed and diced myself in oud for greatness and it don't it don't at all like it don't project at all it doesn't make my house smell like oud for greatness it's you know what it smell like you know them dollar general um them dollar tree prayer candles that you get that have like a very faint little cocoa butter smell that's what it smell like so not worth it baby who the hell is this at my damn door i know you damn lying hold on because certain people be uh-uh who the hell is that well they ain't parked in front of the house so they must be going door to door i don't like it Yeah, take y'all ass on. See, in times like these, that damn glass door is so not, <laughs> like, cause I, I feel like they might've saw me walk at the top of the stairs, cause he, I, 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 I seen him do like this. I don't give a damn if you saw me. I'm not coming to the door. Go, go, do, go to somebody else door to door, hell. Don't come over here with this shit. I ain't buying nothing you selling at my door. I buy it online and in person. That's it. And look, why the other day, my boyfriend was over here. And so I had called AT&T because my, my internet been going in and out. Like, I, I noticed that, you know, while I'm on the phone, I see my Wi-Fi cut off. Then my Wi-Fi cut it back on. And sometimes I'm watching TV, it'll say internet connection lost. So I called AT&T to, like, upgrade my service. So they was coming out here to, like, we re rewire things and upgrade me because they was like, you need a new modem for this particular service. So while the technician was here, the lady pops up at the door. My boyfriend goes to answer the door. Cause you know, when he here, he gives, you know, he's, he's the man, right? And I was editing. So he was like, I don't worry, baby, I get it. I know that ain't connected to the thing. I didn't even know outside sales was still a thing, like. <laughs> Cause I used to do door to door. Baby, listen, I right, never again, never again. It's not worth it. But anyway, the lady pops up at the door and my boyfriend goes and so he's like, don't worry about it. I got it because I was editing and I was working. So I'm thinking he's just going to tell her, nah, we not interested, da, 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 da. Why he let her in? So I hear her say, as she walking up, to <laughs> so I hear her say loud as hell as she walking up the steps. Y'all together, but y'all don't live together. So as soon as she cut that corner to come up the steps, I'm giving her the nastiest look like, ma'am, you do realize that whatever you trying to do here is going to get you some commission. Don't mess up your commission, ma'am. So, and I'm already like, why you, why you let her in? Like, why? We, we could have did all of that at the door. He walks up, he sees my face, he's like... <laughs> Babe, stop looking like that because I was giving a very, I was giving a mean look. I ain't even going to lie because first of all, ma'am, don't, don't cross no boundaries crossing my damn boundaries into my home, okay? So what? We don't live together. You you don't even know the dynamics of this. You don't even know what's going on, ma'am. Like, don't, don't do that. I feel like that was just so out of line. Then she gets up here and she was like, you know they charging you 250 I'm like, I don't know what they're charging me because it's on everything's on auto pay. But I check my bill and I don't have a $250 charge. So she was like, well, let me show you how to use your smart home manager. I'm like, I don't need you to show me how to use it because I already know how to use it. That's, that's how I upgraded my system or whatever. And she was like trying to do a little smile talk or whatever and, you know, talking about how this area used to be like nothing. It was just land and how they're gentrifying and stuff like that. And I'm just like, ma'am, I'm on deadline. I'm trying to work. I would have said this at the door, but since somebody else answers the door, I wasn't able to say it. But yeah, we don't need nothing in this home. Everything is taken care of. 
But I just thought that that was so funny. And why are people still doing outside sales and door to door? Then my boyfriend, he just blushing. He just started blushing when she was like, y'all together, but y'all don't live together. Talking about it's a long story. Really, it's not. We just met. We ain't been together that long. It's the same reason why Travis Kelsey didn't propose to Taylor Swift after the Super Bowl. They ain't been together that damn long. That's why. It's not a long story, but you don't owe a door-to-door -door outside salesman that explanation. Ma'am, stick to the script. You are trying to sell me something? Sell. That's it. So as you can see, your girl can't hold weight to save her life nowadays. And um, I'm at my wit's end with one of my businesses that has been causing me a lot of stress. I be up at night. I be trying to source with another vendor. That vendor has not proven to be reliable as well just because of the inventory numbers are always off. Oh, man, I'm I'm just I'm just hoping. I actually know. I know that because I'm not even gonna put it in the universe. I know that my fragrance business is not gonna be this stressful, but this one is extremely stressful. So I'm at my wits end with it, and I'm actually thinking about closing that business down, um, just because I feel like it's not worth the money for the stress. And I know as an entrepreneur, you are definitely gonna have times where you have a business and you're not gonna be pulling in that much revenue as you are losing. Like you're not gonna be profiting as much as you are losing. I get that, especially like growing pains in a business and like, you know what I'm saying? Trial and error and things like that. I get that. I get that totally. I don't know if this is a Pisces trait or it's just me, but I have talked to other people of my sign and I've read up on this. Like, because we're so imaginative and we're always in our heads and we're always in our mind, um, we desire a certain level of, of success and when something to us proves it is not going to be profitable or is not going to result in success we immediately wash our hands with it and we find something else to do um i used to think that there was something that i got from my daddy because my daddy always struggled with keeping a job so i thought that that's something that i got from him but it's honestly a character trait for pisces like it, when we get bored with something, as soon as I stop having fun with it, I'm done with it. And this business was fun at first. Like, it was fun picking out the things and setting up the store and, um, you know, you know, customizing everything. I made my own website and stuff like that. But now that I'm, like, deep in the stress of it, solely because I have a vendor that is not reliable at all all like at all the vendor is not reliable at all and i've never heard of people talking about this when they you know sell these vendor lists and stuff like that but i mean at the same time i don't really tap into and indulge in that type of content when creators have you know shared vendor lists and how to start a business and all i've never really tapped into that type of content because it wasn't of interest to me at the time but now that I'm in this season of financial success, I definitely want my money to keep making money. You know what I'm saying? Cause like YouTube isn't forever. I mean like Sora for instance, like who knows where their AI software is going to take technology. You know what I'm saying? It might literally cancel YouTube because you have this software that can just make videos from you 
writing out a story and a plot and things like that. So, um, I, like I said, I would be very interested in seeing how that looks, but we don't know what's the future holds for YouTube. YouTube has been around for a long, long time. It has put a lot of people in great financial positions, but you always have to keep in mind that this is a stepping stone for you to do something else that you are passionate about. Because yes, this is a passion of mine. It's a talent of mine. I love editing and things like that, but there's always things that I can learn. And there's other things that I'm talented in and passionate about as well, like perfume and fragrance. So even though I don't feel like I'm one of the girls in the fragrance community, I talk about fragrances so much in my videos to where I know that I have an impact on the fragrance world and um, I have an influence in the fragrance world. So, you know, I can talk about a fragrance and it sells out in a vlog versus me doing a dedicated video talking about this fragrance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know that I have the influence in this, so I definitely want to be one of the people in the forefront in the fragrance world as a perfumer as a fragrance house and stuff like that but i also have another business and that one isn't successful for me like i'm not seeing i've i've made money i've i've definitely seen a profit but i know physically it is causing me stress because when i get on the scale like why i'm, I'm not fitting my clothes I, ain't, I haven't been this skinny. The last time I was this skinny, it was because I was dealing with a toxic ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? And baby, once I let him go, ooh, 150. Hello, booty, everything just pow, 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 pow. And now I feel like I look like I looked when I was in high school. I don't know. It could be body dysmorphia though. Because hmm, my boyfriend don't see what I see. And everybody else seems to think I look good. But me, I'm struggling over here, y'all. Like, I'm like, okay, let me drink my protein shakes. Let me get back on Insure. Let me do everything that I was doing prior to. And one of the things that I feel like really has been a major, uh, a drastic change in my life is this fucking business. That's it. So at this point, I'm like, I'm ready to wash my hands with it, but I'm gonna give it one more try. I'm gonna try to see if I can um, source with another vendor who can definitely get it going and that it's successful i need a reliable vendor these vendors that i have been using are not reliable and it's causing me more stress and stress can do so much damage on the body and cause so many problems so after i eat this oatmeal I'm going to go get me an IV so I can be more hydrated and get some of the nutrients that I have been lacking from not eating. Because, baby, I've been eating once a day. It's bad. All right, good morning, good morning. We are getting ready to head out and run some errands. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to get an IV. And I need to stop by the beauty supply store and get Karen's hair stuff. So this is what we're wearing. This is just a set from Commence Official. I'm wearing my Fendi tote and my Hermes dupes from Steve Men. And today's fragrance of the day is um, Bon Bon Pop layered with Rojas Isola Blue. I'm also wearing my Loewe shades the tortoise print or design matches the handle on this bag so this is the look for today oh my god it feels so good outside today it feels so good it's hot it feels like summertime get the new drip this is the essential 13 so in this one it has vitamin c vitamin a vitamin d3 vitamin e b12 k biotin folic acid and a b complex which is b1 b2 b3 b5 and b6 this one is great to help the body defend fuel and recover so you can level up your health and it is 220 for members i think i'm still a member but shit i might not be oh my god if I'm not a member, then it's three hundred dollars. What'd you say your name was? Brooklyn. Brooklyn is pretty. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You have any other plans for us of the day? Mm -hmm. I'm doing my daughter's hair and my mm -hmm. hair and. Um, Let me turn. Little pinch here. Mm -hmm. 
And I wanted to take her to look at some colleges. It's probably not gonna be enough time for to do all that. So maybe do that tomorrow. You said she has to go to the doctor? No, look at colleges. Oh, okay. How old is your daughter? 18. 18? Mm-hmm. Oh. This generally takes about 45 minutes to an hour. So sometimes when I come and get an IV, if I'm sleepy, I just go to sleep and wake up and it's done. Um, but other than that, like I either get on my phone and watch a vlog, preferably one of mine, <laughs> or um, respond to comments. And this one is so good. Like I've seen. A huge difference in like my nails my nails grew so doggone fast fast because of the biotin my nails grew so fast um skin clearer i don't think i can get any shots with this i'm gonna have to exo because i've been nauseous so i'll probably give me a, like a shot of zofran i think they give you zofran for nausea so i'm gonna exo I'm gonna exit, can I get a shot too? I feel like I ain't had a day to myself in a while and it feels good. I need to like just set aside a whole day to just stay myself. But we didn't do damage at Sephora. I picked up three things. I picked up a concealer from Makeup Forever. This is their new HD Skin Concealer. And I picked up the Cherry Oil Infused Dior Lip Oil. And the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Vanilla Beige. I think this one is gonna be real good to like put over different like lip combos and stuff like that. But I wanna try this Dior Lip Oil out. It's like a shade of pink. I usually don't like wearing lip products when my hair is down because my hair fly in it and it gets stuck and make my hair oily. Ooh, I like this. Mm. It's thick. Ooh, I like this. I was not expecting, I thought it was going to be runny. I didn't think that it was going to be like a thick gloss. The lip oil, the oil part really threw me out, but I like it. It's real thick. So I'm here at, what is this place called? My Life Kitchen. I like it. It's a Thai restaurant here in West Village. And their um, chicken pad Thai is so good. Every time I come here, they act like they don't know how to make this cucumber mocktail that they coined. Like, I wasn't even eating these until I came here. Hi. I don't know, but every time I come here, they always act like they don't know what I'm talking about. I'm like, y'all the reason I'm drinking them now. I got the same thing I always get. The chicken pad thai. It's so good. If y'all ever in West Village, come here and get the chicken pad thai. It's so doggone good. I truly cannot believe how good it feels outside in February. Like, it's in the 70s. Shit, it might even be in the 80s. I gotta check my my dash on the on the car when I uh, get back to the car but I'm about to head and walk over to the scent room because I haven't seen Vegas in a while and she's been texting me 
if she wants to link up and catch up and see me because it's been a while since I got those new fragrance samples I want to tell her that I got them and um set up something where she can meet and we can meet and she can smell them because I'm about ready to decide which of the first three I want to launch son of a bitch man I'm so sick of these shitty ass birds I don't know what to damn do damn Just got my car washed, and here come a bird. Stanky booty ass fucking bird. Damn, I'm sick of these fucking birds. I volume, I volume. 16 carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a lone black road. All the tears I fight. 16 Dreams away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long black road of the tears I fight. Fifteen, the innocence was gone astray. Had to leave my home at an early age. I saw mama praying, I saw daddy grind. All my tender problems had to leave behind. It's been umpteen summers and I'm not in my bed on the back of the bus in a bunk with the band. Going so hard, gotta choose myself. Underpaid and overwhelmed. I might cut clean, but still won't go. Still working all my life, you know. Only God knows, only God knows, only God knows. Sixteen carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my fears away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long back road. All the tears I.